Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session type 3 part 2. In the previous video, we learn how to solve problems involving x p q and y p q. In today's session, we are going to learn how to solve the first order PDE which involves only z, p and q. Let us go into the session. We just have a quick recap. What are all the different types of solution like complete, particular, general and singular solutions. So now we solve two problems in this session on the type which involves z, p and q. Let us go into the session. The given problem is p into 1 plus q is equal to q z. As I said all in my earlier videos, in exam some point of view they will never mention the types they will give simply solve we have to identify it belongs to which type here the problem consists of z p and q so it is going to be type 3 with z now let us consider the given pde as equation 1 if the problem is involving z p and q we have a different procedure first we have to assume z is a function of u and we are going to assume u is x plus a y now different differentiating u partially with respect to x we get 1 and u partially with respect to y we get a but our ultimate aim is to find the solution for equation 1 so my p is dou z by dou x we can rewrite this as dz by du and dou u by dou x because z is a function of u and u is related with x plus a y. So, I can replace this value as 1. Therefore, p is equal to d z by d u. Next, similarly, we can find q. q is equal to dou z by dou y. I can rewrite this as d z by d u because z is a function of u and then u is a function of x and y. So, I am writing dou u by dou y. Now, we know that dou u by dou y is a. Therefore, q is equal to a into d z by d u. So, now we found p is simply d z by d u and q is a into d z by d u. We can substitute this in equation 1. You can see the typed version. Now, substituting this p and q in equation 1, we get d z by d u into 1 plus a into d z by d u is equal to d z by d u into z. We have to simplify this. Now, I can cancel this 2. We will get 1 plus a into d z by d u is equal to a z. Now, we have to split z one side and u on the other side. So, a into d z by d u is equal to a z minus 1. d z by d u is equal to a z minus 1 by a. Now, I will take z on one side. So, a by a z minus 1 into d z is equal to d u. Next, we have to integrate this on both sides. Integral d u is equal to a into integral d z divided by a z minus 1. And we know that integral dx divided by ax plus b is log ax plus b divided by a. So, integrating this, we get u is equal to a into log a z minus 1 divided by a plus c. Now, I can cancel this a. We get u is equal to log a z minus 1 plus c. And we know u is equal to x plus a y. Substituting this here, we get the complete solution. x plus a y is equal to log a z minus 1 plus c. Here we have only two arbitrary constant that is a and c. The given problem is of the form z is equal to f of x comma y. It has two independent variables. So, for two independent variables, we have two arbitrary constants a and c. Therefore, this is my complete solution. And it is very easy to find the singular solution and general solution. When you differentiate the complete solution, with respect to c partially we get 1 but for singular solution we have the conditions dou z by dou a is equal to 0 and dou z by dou c equal to 0. Therefore, singular solution does not exist. We can directly write for both type 1 and type 3 singular solution does not exist and we have to find the general solution. For this I am going to assume c is equal to pi of a and substituting in complete solution 
we get this equation 4. Now, as usual, differentiating 4 partially with respect to A and eliminating A between this equation 4 and its derivative, we get the general solution. That's it, students. For more clarity, let us see one more problem in this same kind. Given z equal to p square plus q square. So, the problem consists of z, p and q. So, it is type 3 with z. Now, let us take the given equation as equation 1. It involves z, p and q. Therefore, I am going to say z is a function of some u where u is equal to x plus ay that is u is a function of x and y therefore we get dou u by dou x is equal to 1 dou u by dou y is equal to a now my aim is to solve the given equation so i want to find p and q in terms of u p is dou z by dou x since z is a function of u i can write this as dz by du into dou u by dou x because u is a function of both x and y and we know that dou u by dou x is nothing but 1 so we get p is equal to dz by du similarly if i write for q we have dou u by dou y is a so i can get q is equal to a into dz by du now substitute both p and q in equation 1 and we can integrate this to get the complete solution so z is equal to p square plus q square so z is dz by du whole square plus a into dz by du whole square now we can simplify this dz by du whole square plus a square into dz by du whole square so let us take dz by du whole square in common we get 1 plus a square into dz by du whole square so z by 1 plus a square is equal to dz by du whole square now taking square root on both sides we get square root of z divided by 1 plus a square is equal to dz by du now we have to assemble z on one side on the remaining terms of u on the other side dz by root z is equal to plus or minus du by square root of 1 plus a square now we have to integrate this on both sides we know integration of 1 by root z is 2 root z so we have 2 root z is equal to plus or minus since the denominator is constant i'll just keep as it is integration of du is u plus c next we have to substitute u is equal to x plus ay here then we get 2 into root z is equal to plus or minus x plus ay divided by square root of 1 plus a square plus c it has only two arbitrary constant that is a and c so we can declare this as the complete solution therefore i'll take this as equation 3 next for type 3 and type 1 we know singular solution does not exist so you can write directly there is no singular solution and then to find the general solution as usual take c equal to phi of a and substitute in 3 we get the equation number 4 now differentiating equation number 4 partially with respect to a and eliminating a between this 4 and dou z by dou a we will get the general solution hope these two problems help you to understand are type 3 that is problems involving z p and q thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video bye bye